ביקשתי אפילו. אני נגד חיסונים, אבל יש לי לחץ מבעלי. אני אשם. אני אשם. I did yesterday 180 people. נוכל ללכת למגרשי כדורגל, לראות משחק כדורסל, לפתוח את המדינה מחדש. First, the fact that Israel is a smaller and younger country. By design, we have to vaccinate fewer people to get a much higher proportion covered. So we could cover 13% of our population within, what, two weeks. That would be much more difficult in a larger, older country that has many more elderly to vaccinate. Right now, this is restricted for populations who are 55, 60 years old upwards. Also, people who are below that age who are medical workers or have medical issues and they are entitled to get the vaccination. Every few kilometers, we have a center for people to come to. Point number two is that the health system here is built and structured, focused on community care of the patients, on GPs rather than just on hospitals like in other countries. Every citizen is covered and has a GP that he knows and he trusts, so it's easy to outreach and get to them. Usually I manage to make it just five people. Six is it's a, like a borderline. You're not always sure if it's enough, so I prefer to make it just for five people. We cannot mix them. They say, tell us until when we can use it. You know, it says here, January 6th until 2 o'clock in five minutes. The third thing is that all of the logistics has been done directly by the government because of the complexity associated with the cold chain maintenance, which is really, really tricky in this case. Everything until the point of being close to the distribution center done by the government, and from that point on done by the sick funds, by the HMOs that can take it on from there direct to patient. There's a very big refrigerator in a place called Shoham near the airport. All the vaccinations are kept there. When the Kupot Cholim want to take the vaccinations, they have to mobilize it throughout the country. The more you move them, the bigger the possibility that they'll be damaged. So you have to be very, very cautious with them. The fourth point is that Israel has a very strong health IT backbone. Every patient has an electronic health record for the last 20 years. All of the background data about each one of them is available. We can call them, we can approach them through online modalities and digital health, and that helps us in bringing them in. Мне понравилось. Через три недели я приду еще раз, получу это же самое удовольствие. Тогда для Медина, для Холдо, что доедет для нас только, тогда для нас она хнупо. And finally, I think the level of trust in Israel, in your physician, in the sick fund, in general, in the health system, is much higher than in any other segment of society, definitely politics. That helps a lot in building the public trust that it is needed to get people to come in and get vaccinated. We have to, to trust, yeah? You can't live without trust.